Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a true Renaissance woman that has created a lane of her own that brings holistic wellness to women. Her new book just debuted at number one on Amazon and Personal Transformation. Come Please on, welcome back down to the Circle <laughs> Patty Harvey. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. so happy you here. I feel like I'm back home. Yeah. 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 We're the sisters. Yeah. 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 Good stuff. We're yeah. so excited. Breakthrough sold separately. Get out of the boat Ooh, of like mediocrity that. and yeah. walk on water. Yes. I love that one. Yes. What prompted you to write this book? Because I was in my own boat of mediocrity and I was not walking on water. Mm -hmm. You know, I opened the book by talking about being fired. Mm -hmm. um, and most people can relate to the story of being fired. Mm -hmm. The uniqueness yes. of my story is that I was fired from my father. You know? oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting. That's pretty right. interesting. <laughs> Listen, totally fired. But it was, you know, as I was told, I was not fired. I was released into my destiny. Ah. And so because I was fired, I was able to start Beyond Her, an active wellness brand for women of color, and then be able to write this book. Mm -hmm. You know, it freed me up. But I wrote the book because I know I got free. Mm -hmm. And I wanted other people to get free too. Because mm -hmm. yes. yes. when you learn something, it's your duty to go bring teach somebody it. else mm -hmm. along the way yeah. and teach them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> now, Brandy, the conversation around therapy and mental health has always been a taboo with our people. Now, yeah. how do you reset, recalibrate the mind, spirit, and soul so that you can be receptive? to this therapy and this help, because we need it. We do, you know, therapy has become my non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. And I think everybody in their life has to create a list of non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. right. And therapy saved my life. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't that, you know, I was suffering from any mental illness. It was that I was suffering in silence from all the emotions that I was suppressing. Mm -hmm. I was suffering from all the labels that had put, been put on me, mm -hmm. being the daughter of a megastar, needing to feel like you have to have it all together all the time, mm -hmm. this perfectionist syndrome that we all kind of suffer from, <laughs> you know, and then the strong black woman syndrome. Mm -hmm. So oh, we girl. all are walking around in this emotional dishonesty all the time. And so, you know, therapy for me became a way to recalibrate my mind you know, my body, my spirit. And then it became my non-negotiable. So every Wednesday, one o'clock, you don't get to talk to me. You you did you, you <laughs> not on my level. Uh, right. <laughs> at one o'clock. And one o'clock is all about me. Yes. It's all about me sitting on that couch to not fix anything. It's not about you know, therapy is not about right. fixing something. It's, it's about coping. really finding new ways to handle your, your problems, mm -hmm. your situations. How do you recalibrate and reset the mind? Mm -hmm. How do you talk to somebody who's unbiased mm -hmm. in your life? And they be able to offer you some insight, mm -hmm. tools, you know? I'm well, about what, kind, tools. what kind of tools and principles would you give, you know, just someone who has never been to, to therapy yeah. or is considering it, what yeah. are some of the principles that you feel that, that well, that you live by? Mm. One of the things that so many women don't live by is boundaries. Mm. Mm. No, we that's operate that's without boundaries. Yeah, we do. And so because we don't have boundaries, mm -hmm. we don't get the life we want, we get the life that somebody else says we want. I or says we should have. Mm. And so that's the part of boundaries. And I did not know that I was not operating in boundaries. Mm -hmm. I thought, you know, oh, I'm just, you know, it don't matter, girl. We're just <laughs> kicking it. Right. I don't want to just kick it with you. And because I was not clear on what I wanted, I was allowing myself to be in relationships that we were just kicking it. Mm -hmm. right. And I really wanted something more. Mm -hmm. I was allowing myself to spend time with people that I really didn't want to spend time with anymore uh -huh. because I didn't have clear boundaries of what I wanted. Right. And I had to set those for myself. And therapy helped me do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about one of the quotes that's in your book. <clears throat> you say, dropping the crutches when you've walked without them can be terrifying, but it's the only way. Yeah. What do you mean by that? So often, I think in society, and especially with women of color, you know, we have been placed in these boxes and we've been trying to live up to the box, you know? We've been dubbed the pretty girl, the smart girl, the funny girl, the ugly girl, the martyr. Mm -hmm. We've martyred ourselves to our families. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's, we end up coping, you know, we use alcohol. And I talk about that in the book. You know, alcohol was a huge crutch for me. Mm -hmm. You know, marijuana was a huge crutch for me. Sex was a huge crutch for me. And so when I had to let those crutches mm -hmm. go and walk without them and stand on my own two feet, and I'm not gonna fall into this sexual relationship mm -hmm. because I just need to feel some love. Mm -hmm. today. Or I'm not going to fall into the food or the trap of alcohol because I just 
want to escape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to deal with my stuff head on. And when you drop those crutches, sometimes it's hard. Yeah. You know, you're like, I can't do this. Where's the drink? <laughs> I can't do this. But when you find out that you can, you know, that the power has already mm -hmm. been within you, that God has really like coded us with this divine power to heal and transform our lives, mm -hmm. but we just have to tap into it. Yes. So darling, you are standing and you're standing beautifully. Yes. <laughs> Especially in your Maria Hopper's design. Yes, yes. 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 Miss Marvelous. Maria, Miss Maria Harper, local Atlanta legend. Yes. 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 Miss Maria Harper. Now you said you encourage people to take 100% responsibility for yeah. their life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now explain to the ones who are not doing that how to. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I really look at this book. I said in layman's terms, what is this book? You know, it's a DIY for your soul. Okay. That's what this book is. But it also is, you know, how not to be basic. Mm. You know? <laughs> it's, it's how not to be basic. You yeah, know, but it, it really is about you owning up to your stuff. Yes. How you show up in the world. And that you're responsible for how you show up Come in the on. world. It's no one else's fault. Yes, bad things happen. Things happen to people. But when you take responsibility mm. for the roles that you play mm. in every role, relationship mm. in every room that you walk in mm. in every scenario that's when you've taken responsibility that's when you're your turning up my god, god. Yeah. today right. you're <laughs> talking several words for the people yes. Yes. that's what i do so glad. and i heard we got one of these in the back really excited yes. about that uh be sure to follow miss brandy harvey at mm -hmm. i am brandy harvey on instagram to see where you can catch her and pick up her new book breakthrough soul separately get out of the boat of mediocrity walk and walk on, on water mm -hmm. please put your hands together for miss brandy yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.